We have lots of things to show you. We have a tour of Italy. We have tours of our wonderful space here that um, over 1,500 people are coming out to see these players play. And I am not alone up here. I am with my wonderful analysts who are going to be bringing you highlights, strategies, all of that through, uh, throughout the day. Welcome, gentlemen. Hey guys, thank you for joining us today for the World Championships in Rimini. Uh, my name is Matthew Bell, I work for Nami Digital Entertainment, and joining me on this desk today we have Jason Gregor-Meyer joining us from Canada, and Jerome Winston joining us from New York, Los uh, New York, USA. Jason, tell us a bit about yourself. Hi, my name is Jason Gregor-Meyer, I've been a strategy writer specializing in Yu-Gi-Oh! for 10 years. And Jerome. My name is Jarrell Winston, and I've been playing for roughly eight years, judging for four years. And um, Jarrell, you have quite a bit of history with this tournament, because you played in the 2012 in Tokyo. Yes, I did. Well, I did play in 2012 in World Championships. I played with Exodia, a deck that was very, very popular in Japan, and I felt like it was the best deck at the time. And not only that, you took the Exodia deck to the top game and was literally one card away from the final four. Yes, my next card was the left, um, the left leg of Exodia. If I did draw that one turn earlier, I would have top four that event. Yes, that is indeed correct. It's always the left leg. It's always the left leg. And Jason, yourself, when we're watching that reel from all the previous World Championships, you appeared in most of those videos. Yeah, I, I made all of them from 2003 up until 2009, and I was back in 2011. Haven't been to one for a few years, I'm so happy to be back in the World Championship. There's going to be a lot of exciting stuff that we're seeing this weekend. All of the players, the absolute best from all around the world. We have so much respect for everybody here, and we're going to see some great matches. Back to Jessica. Yeah, fantastic. So, um, let me tell me, guys. Like, uh, are you guys excited to be here? Oh yeah, excited. Yeah. Have you been enjoying Italy? Uh, yeah, just worried about getting sunburned. And uh, saw some amazing sights as well. Uh, Rimini, both an amazing party city and an amazing historic city. Um, and how about you, Matt? What have you enjoyed about Rimini so far? Uh, pizza. I've eaten yes. far too much pizza this weekend. I have weekend. to agree with that. Um, I think we all have. We got the got a sea view of the of the beach, which is really nice to just wake up in the morning, look at, and go. We've got the world champions here. Yeah. World championships this year. Absolutely. Fantastic. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. Uh, we look forward to hearing from more uh, more of you guys a little later. So we also have some wonderful commentators here to talk to you, give you more play-by-plays of what's going on during the featured matches. And I'd like to throw it to Rob and Jerome right now. How's it going over there, guys? Good morning. Fantastic. Edison Khan from France. Wow. Fabio Mueller from Germany.
awesome. I can't wait for some exciting matches that you guys are going to bring us. So, um, gentlemen, our analysts, I want to talk to you guys more about Italy. How much do you love it? Because I love it. Let me just say, I've gotten to check out a few uh, ancient landmarks. I've gotten to eat some of the food, and it's just been fabulous. Have you gotten to do any sightseeing so far? Uh, so a lot of the setup uh, for the event. It's it's been quite quite busy setting everything up, but uh, from what I have seen, I uh, absolutely love it here. Um, I was quite surprised. Normally I don't like hot countries, but I came here and was like, yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, uh, I was not involved in the setup, so uh, PJ Tierney, who is here doing the written coverage, and I got to like wander the streets. He's actually right there. He is waving to me. I got to sort of just wander the streets of the city center area and see about any historical landmarks. Uh, took a bunch of like fascinating little like, local shops and just wandered these like cobblestone streets that were just beautiful around like sunset. It was like such a gorgeous, gorgeous city. Jerome, what about you? I just enjoyed the Coliseum, the, the whole center in general, you know, it's a very, the design is fabulous, coming down the steps, and then you see the, the big water globe or whatever, it's, it's very interesting. Yeah, the venue here is gorgeous, it's stunning. And the way, and the way the setup is, and any player, guest, be it, anybody would just love this, this setup and the area. Very yeah, for those who don't know at home, we are actually at the Pella Congressi di Rimini, which looks like a flying saucer, and it is absolutely beautiful here. And I also heard it's a very eco-friendly center, which is pretty impressive as well. So I wish, I wish everyone could be here to see this place. There's a beautiful fountain downstairs with a giant, like, rotating ball inside of the fountain that we all kind of went and played in yesterday. I don't know if we were supposed to, but we had fun. And so, <laughs> and so, is there anything that you haven't gotten to check out here in Rimini that you uh, are hoping to get to this weekend? I have not been able to hit the hot tub yet, and Jarrell has been in that thing for hours on end. <laughs> he was in the hot tub when I like got in. He was in the hot tub after I drop off my luggage. Perpetual hot tubbing. It looked great. Every hotel here has like a private beach because Rimini has like a eight or nine mile long amazing beach. So you have like your own private chunk of it. It's incredible. Since I left my Yu-Gi-Oh playing cards at home, there was nothing else for me to do other than enjoy the the way the hotel was set up and the beach and everything else. So for me to enjoy the hot tub was probably my main concern. <laughs> for me, uh, if I find time this weekend, I'm going to the beach. Yeah. One hundred percent. I'm going to the beach. I've got these little. Uh, Little boats with slides on top that you just push out in the ocean. I'm gonna go on that. I saw those. That sounds awesome. Those look, yeah, no, they look really fun. This is sort of like we are very close to the beach, so it's almost like we do have to make sure that we all make a trip to the beach, even at night. Even at night, it would be fine because it's so warm out here. The weather is so fantastic, but I'm definitely enjoying Italy. I wanted to talk about the food because I'm always a hungry, hungry hippo. I love it. Last night we had some amazing risotto. The culture out here is just so fascinating, and I just, I don't think I've ever been to a place that has been so uh, welcoming in terms of just inviting us into their culture and trying new things. So, what, what's your experience been like, Jason? Have uh, you... Crazy, crazy food since the moment we stepped in. We all went to dinner last night together, mm -hmm. and yeah, had these like amazing risottos, uh, incredible like octopus stew that I had that no one else would try, but it was outstanding. Uh, what did you have last night? Uh, I had a risotto. Um, the waiter, he came up and he had like his menu of like 20 different versions of yeah, the yeah. risotto. And by the time he got to the end of it, the menu was on a time. I'm like, um, can you just say all that again, please? I want all of it. <laughs> just right here, right now. Uh, and you, you know absolutely everything about food. Like, so what's this? You're like, oh, it's just like this, made with these peppers. And so sat there like, I just don't know everything. <laughs> I had this amazing like risotto last night with champagne and lemon and herbs and asparagus. Drell, what did you have last night? I had the same thing. I had a risotto and I had a stuffed tomato. It was very, very interesting. Did you have the risotto with the bacon and the cheese and the, the potatoes? Same. Yeah, that was stuff. Awesome, awesome. That's so cool. I'm so glad you guys are enjoying Italy just as much as I am. I think it seems like everyone is loving this place. So I'm going to throw it to the commentators right now, uh, Rob and Jerome, and we're going to hear from them. Take it away, guys.
Uyuh.